This is the Celestron Tetraview LCD Digital Microscope, model number 44347. It's beautifully made, very robust. But I've looked on YouTube and tried to find some very basic operating instructions for it and I couldn't find them. So I'm going to do my own. I bought this for our nearly eight year old grandsons. Obviously it would be mum or dad operating it for them in the uh, early days. I hadn't used a microscope before and when I first unboxed it, it wasn't that intuitive to use and it took a bit of studying before I understood the setup and the controls. So with this little video, I hope I can show the boys and their mum and dad um, how to get into it a bit quicker than I did. The first thing you'll need is a power source. You can either use the battery source. It's got four AA batteries underneath. Or it comes with an adapter, plugs into the wall, the 240 volt mains, and into the back of the microscope there. Now I don't know if this is by design or fault, I have got four fully charged batteries in the microscope and when I use the switch here the illuminator works, but the LCD doesn't come on. Maybe a fault with the instrument, I don't know, but I'll continue using it with mains power. Right, so I've plugged in the mains power at the back here, and we'll see if the LCD screen comes on. Yes, so it's okay on mains power, but it doesn't work on batteries, so we'll continue on that basis. The very first thing that was a challenge was how to fit the slides onto the um, stage, it's called, of the microscope. And with hindsight, it's very simple, but you've got this arm on this side that you can, it's sprung loaded and you pull it out like that. The slide is pushed up to the back of this fence here and with the crossbar on the end of the slide there, it's pushed into there like that. And then this arm closes and holds it in position. It's as simple as that. So to take it out, just operate the arm like that and pull the slide away. When you're using slides, they're lit from below and there's a switch down here. And you can adjust the brightness of the light. So this is the light here that shines up through the specimen. And this is the switch, we'll turn that on and it goes to full brightness if you rotate it fully and back for off. There's a control here on the side of the stage and that alters the size of the light source and also changes the colour of the light source. The recommendation is you keep it in position number six. So there are six different positions and you can experiment with that with your specimen to see which one gives you the best illumination, but I suggest you do as they recommend and keep it to position six. To raise and lower the stage, we've got a coarse method here with the outer knob. The stage goes up and down there. You do this for focus. If you want to do it more finely, then you use the small knob and the stage will go up and down a little slower. When you're looking at your specimen through the microscope, you'll want to move it left or right to get the best part of the image. And that's achieved with this front black knob here that moves the specimen left and right. To move the specimen forward and back, use the knob behind. And as you can see, that moves the specimen on the stage forward and back. There are four objective lenses. The red one gives you a 40 times magnification. 
the yellow one a hundred times magnification. The green one a two hundred times magnification. And the light blue one a four hundred times magnification. You can also zoom it with the LCD screen. So typically you can make these images four times bigger than you are initially seeing, but you may lose some clarity of uh, your object when you're doing that. When you first set your specimen up, use the lowest magnification first, the 40 times magnification, the red one. As you want to get closer to the work, uh, then you'll rotate it to the next magnification, which is 100 times, 200 times, and then 400 times if you want to see something that in that much detail. Just be aware though that as you rotate this here, some of the lenses are longer than the others. So you'll probably want to lower, you want to lower this stage for the lens to clear. Otherwise you may do some damage if you try and force this around. To turn the LCD viewer on, there's a button at the top here, a power button. Just press it once. There we are. Now on the back of the LCD screen, there's rather a, a novel little pencil that pulls out and you can use that for the touch screen. The LCD is a touch screen and there are various tools available in it. You can zoom onto the image two times, three times, four times. So whatever the magnification is that you're looking at your specimen, you can increase that again by up to four times. You can take videos, there's an SD card, an onboard SD card. You can take photographs. It gives you the status of the power, but the manual has got quite a comprehensive page in it, which will walk you through the functions of the LCD screen. I've selected a specimen here in its glass and it's described as pine wood. So I'm going to put that onto the stage, hold that spring back like that and put it into position. There we are. And you can see on here the specimen is out and we can move the stage to get it centre of the specimen. I'm not sure what bit of pine wood this is. However, that is it. Now I've got it on the 40 times magnification. So if I rotate it to the 100 times magnification, here we are, you can see we've got a closer and we may have to focus it again. So using the fine there we are. Using the smaller knob on here, we can bring it into focus. And then we'll go around again to the green one, which is 200 times magnification. And again, we can very carefully bring that in and out of focus. There we are. We're very close now to the image. So that's 200 times magnification. And it may be 200 times magnification maybe too much to see what you're trying to look at in the specimen. So the 100 times may be more appropriate. You don't always want the highest magnification. That looks more structural to my mind. But of course, all these things are on slides that are already made for you. But what I would encourage is making your own slides up, finding out how to make your own slides up, things like water from a puddle or even water from the tap, um, small leaf sections, maybe insect legs and insect wings, making your own slides up. I don't really know how to do that yet. I'll have to do a bit more research. But I hope you enjoy your microscope.